Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever in the world you are. Kenny Cody here. We're playing Hell Divers because I kind of missed this for a few weeks. Been busy. Haha. -ha. I, I did. Ah, failed to establish a network connection. Love it. You love to see it. Wonderful. Granted, I have been on this standing in this ship for like half an hour. Just kind of waiting. Uh, let's get back to social. So I have only done the tutorial, right? Because I wanted to make sure, you know, the game worked, but they throw you right in there. So I, so I went ahead and did that. But I figured, okay, I'm gonna, let's, let's let's do a few initial missions just to get, get my feet in it before I start bugging people about collaboration. Hello. Hello. Uh, wouldn't it be hilarious? <laughs> Please wait to me correctly. Okay, that's pretty good. I only saw Starship Troopers within like the last year, but very, very good movie. So I can definitely see where a lot of, and I can see all the inspiration came from it. Oh, be online? Be online. Cool. Oh no. My friends list is all B24 said that for. Okay, cool. It's, it's still doing that. It, it's, it's still. Okay, maybe if I go here? Oh boy, this is already off to a wonderful cell guy. The galactic war awaits. Brother in Christ. Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe I just need to quit and restart. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I spent too long. Surely the servers didn't go down in the last hour. Surely. I thought that meme is done. <laughs> oh, Lord. Of all days. Okay. Playing. Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Woo! It is Tuesday. I am eager to Zatsu some stuff. Or, well, actually, not tomorrow. Next time I'm here, which would be Thursday for some Japanese game. Oh my god, you're actually, it's actually down. Okay. Okay. Well, luckily we have a backup. Did you know? We had a backup. We're just going to Alt F4. We're going to do a little swippity, swappity slip, by which I mean switch the days. Whoops. We're doing Mary Skelter today. Wow. 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 Uh, I'm gonna have to fuck with the names of stuff later on, but... Okay, save that. Blah, blah. Hide this. Can't hear that. I know. And game audio. Guess what? Actually, hold up. I'm gonna, I, need, I need to full screen that, I think, in a second. Huh? Come on, come on.
Cool. Nice. I have no, no idea what to expect. I have no familiarity. I just saw this recommended based on other things I've played. And I'm like, you know what? Why not? Why not? I, I do seem to always gravitate towards things that wind up fucking with fairy tales. Rest in peace, Sinnoh Alice. Uh, I do need to do some... I didn't do video testing because I thought I was doing this Thursday. Silly me. Silly me. Uh, we're going to see if we can get some video options going because I think this is not full screen. Huh? Wouldn't it be funny? Okay, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. Graphics. Yep. Yeah. Trailer. Okay, okay, okay. Boy, this is. Hey, borderless! Borderless! My beloved! Bingo! There we go. That wasn't so hard. Ah, wrong one. Cool. Excellent. This is fine. Today is a fine day. I am totally calm about events today. Hey, cool. Dope. Dope. Door's not connecting. I'm just gonna do keyboard. You have to use the keyboard as your default input. Sure, why not? Okay, okay. Difficulty! I... I think the screenshot said this was like a... Actually, like a first-person dungeon crawly game. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you for the sip of water. I could really have used that. Lower enemy stat. Well, I'm obviously not doing that. Okay. Higher enemy stats, but the amount of experience and gold will be higher as well. Ooh. Fuck, let's do it. Job, Sakura Maiden. Okay. Stuff. I don't know if this is. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, forgot to switch to Gary. Gary. We started out with Helldivers, but the servers were down when I started, so I didn't want to wait around. So I switched it up. So. Uh, okay. Up there. Okay. And hopefully Thursday, the game will, servers will be back. You know, it's funny, it was working for like the last hour because I didn't get a message saying servers were down. But we roll with them punches. What used to be one of Japan's busiest cities has disappeared from the surface of the earth. My god. Must be seam maintenance right now. Ah, uh, I can see that. Where the city used to reside is now a huge crater as deep and dark as the abyss, adorned with the most outlandish of environments. It's like Disney World. Among them is an unusual tower, so to speak, that points toward the white moon above the skies. I play Persona 3. The people who thrived in that city are now monitored by creatures known as Martians, who unduly torture okay. people day in and day out. Time has passed to where the name of the city is lost. Now, people there refer to this living hell as... As? The unescapable living prison. Jail. Hmm. It's kind of a weak name to be kind of honest with you, but 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 I imagine Tartarus was out of the question. <laughs> Prologue. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's us. 
I actually thought we were Alice because you're always Alice in these types of games, you know? Actually, I'm going to go over here. Aha. The sound of suffering, the hissing of the marchants, the sound of the jail, the lighted. How much longer will this go on? Why are we even here? Just to suffer? Every night, I... Alice. Jack. The color of your eyes. Did they do things to you again? I'm fine. They made me lick the walls again. I'm just tired. I see. What about you, Jack? You're bleeding. They must have done horrible things to you. I'm not bleeding as much anymore. For some reason, the torturing ended early today. Maybe it's because the jail wasn't pleased with today's bloodshed. Still, we need to patch you up. <laughs> Alice, hurry! Lick my blood! What? Blood? Just lick it! Hurry! I'm sorry. Are you alright now? No, I don't think it's one of those types of games. I... I did some research, surely. Thank you, Jack. Jack, show me your arm. We need to take care of your wounds. You've bled enough from the torturing. If I take even more of your blood, it could kill you. You worry too much, Alice. See, I'm not bleeding anymore. The leaves help quite a bit. Well, I suppose, but... Are you two okay? Torturing is done for today, right? Oh, yes. We're fine here. How about you? Her eyes are yellow now. Hmm. Well, they just made me do that licking thing, so what? I'm fine. It does kind of get to you, though. Yeah, that's true. The torturing here. What's the purpose of it all? L licking the walls. Of course, the scream being hurt and wounded. Maybe there's no meaning to any of it. As long as we're alive, we still have a chance of escaping from here. Yeah. We'll get out of here one day, right? Yep. We're not going to give up. Yes. No matter how painful things are now. I can't believe how strong everyone is here. I should keep my spirits up too. I'll protect you, Alice. Let's find a way out of here. Yes. I will protect you too. So just stay by my side. The jail is wailing. I can't get used to how horrifying it sounds. It sounds like it's satisfied for today. You can tell what the jail is wailing about? Sort of. Or maybe I'm just imagining what it's saying. Hmm. You know, that could be useful one day. Useful. What an odd thing to say. Aren't you creeped out by it? This world's bizarre as it is. I'm not surprised by anything at this point. Here's what you got, right? I see. I never thought of it like that before. I mean, everyone else is creeped out by it. Thank you. No problem. Let's just do our best to survive. Yeah. Jack, if we're talking about anything being creepy, it's me. You know I'm not normal. That's not true, Alice. You're not creepy at all. If anything's creepy, it's this world we're living in. Such despair. Sorry. The only reason any of us are able to hold on to our sanity is because we support each other. We're okay now, so why don't we rest? It's important if we want to survive. <laughs> yes. To survive. What the? What? What's going on? I don't know, I don't know! But something weird's happening! The Marchands are dead? 
What happened? Ooh, what's going on out there? Jack! Alice, watch out! Who likes sweet treats? Ah, oh, it's my favorite. I, I, again, I haven't played this game, but I fucking love Red Riding Hood in Cinemalis. So if they go... So I'm, like, I'm already predisposed to like this character. Hell yes. Yikes! What are you doing? What's this pink thing? Alice's eyes are turning pink. Huh? You don't know what it is? It's Marchin' Blood. Marchin' Blood? This is... Marchin' Blood? <laughs> Found you. You must be Alice. What? You know me? The color of your eyes. You're the one, all right. The color of her eyes? Alice, you're the one I've been looking for. Me? Now then, Ali you. <laughs> Let me down! We can talk later. First, we have to get out of here. W wait! Yoink! Jack! Alice! Hey, let her go! Uh, uh okay. Can I look around? No. Yep. Oh no, it's Eternatius Odyssey. Which I only played once. I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, it's kind of great. I am, I'm very indecisive. Anyway. Okay. Hi. Can I interact with you? No. Maybe if I sever it. Okay. Okay, that's cool. All autopilot. Okay, move forward. Confirm. Detailed. Straight. Ooh. Okay. We should be safe here. Sorry for the rush. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, who are you? Why are you ta taking else? Hmm? Right back at you. Who are you, anyway? Did you follow me here? Huh? I was back in the cell with Alice just now. And then you suddenly found your way in and abducted her. Wait, why am I answering to you? Who are you? Why'd you take Alice? Hey, I am not an abductor. I just came here to bring Alice back with me. Bring me back with you? Why? Well, that's because you're like me. You're a blood maiden! Noun. Huh? Time to think of it. Weren't this girl's eyes pink earlier? It seems like Alice's eyes are back to normal too. Uh, your eyes are pink earlier, but... Oh, that, it fades away after a while. Looks like yours are back to normal too, Alice. The color of my eyes changed. Yep. Marching blood changes the color of your eyes to pink. Okay, that's proof that you're a blood maiden. Proof that I'm a blood maiden. Me? Alice, don't listen to her. We never even heard of this blood maiden before. She sounds shady. Ah! That's doubly funny because I've been doing Eminem this week. Not intentionally, actually. I just I just threw it in one of the posts and I realized that this entire weekend just continues Eminem as intro songs. Anyway, 
That's rude. After I broke you two out of there. But you seem different from everyone else, and for some reason, you know Alice. I said we'll talk later. You need to hold your horses. Uh, what was your name again? It's Jack. Hmm, Jack, eh? Well, nice to meet you. Oh, my name is Red Riding Hood. You can call me Sis if you'd like. I will not. Uh, uh, Red Riding Hood, why are you doing all this? We're looking for blood maidens in the jail. And lo and behold, I found you, Alice. I was so happy to see you. I mean, we found another one like us. Us? Yep, us. To be more exact. It's a merchant! Let's get out of here! Came for us, eh? Else, use this! A sword? But I've never used one before. It's fine! Just use it! But... You've got no other choice but to kill it if you want to get out of here. A lot. Got it? Exclamation point. Cool. Ah. Win battle by defeat enemy. Enemy end. Battle end if everyone in party. KO. Makes sense. Higher agility. Press the move. Jack has three special commands. Wait, guard item. Guard allows you to select one blood maiden to guard. If it works, she won't take any damage. Yeah. Guarded character won't take damage. Guarding character has a chance of afflicting sun. If stunned a number of times, he'll be KO'd. Also, chance Jack will be KO'd. Wait, skips the turn, escape, gets the party out. Yep. Wait, so Jack can attack. He's just a punching bag. Huh. Wonder what the author meant by this. Okay, attack, skill, defend, escape. Yep. Yep. I've played video games. Okay. Experience, blood crystal, item, or weapons when you win. Yay. Be careful. I'll do this. Surely, surely, he'll get powered up later, right? Uh, let's guard. Here I go. Water tech. Prepare yourself. Yikes! Out. Okay, red riding hood. Oh, she's got a heal. Nice. Shit, which one did I attack? Care this one? My turn. Take this. Two combo. Yikes. Here I, go. I don't have any SP, so... Okay. Got a black iron lung. Oh, crystal stiff. Alice. See? Nothing to it. I suppose. They actually did it. Alice and this girl actually beat a marchant. I can't believe how they were able to move like that in battle. You... This blood main thing is... We blood mains are about the only ones who can actually fight the marchants. We're using our powers so that one day we can save everyone and get out of the jail. Get out of the jail. Else, tell me, do you come with me? You know, you and I, 
are similar in a way. Similar? I will go with you. Alice? But only with Jack. Alice. Ah, oh, what the hell. Saving others is part of the mission, too. You want to tag along, then? Jack? Alice? I mean, yeah? Then it's settled. Let's go. Exit is that way. Hey, aren't you going to save everyone else here? Well, of course. I haven't forgotten about them. Not at all. Heh <laughs> heh. Come on, let's hurry and save them. Okay. Yes. Oh, we're saved. We can escape from here? We don't need to go through all that torture anymore. They're not gonna hurt us. The exit is that way. Hurry. Huh? What's the matter? No one's in the cell next door. I wonder if they escaped already. Maybe. I'm sure Red Riding Hood freed them before we got here. I sure hope so. Alright, looks like everyone's free now. Let's head on over to the Liberated District. Liberated District. Yep. To the dawn we go. Okay, floor, mini map. Various treasure, collection points, and then dungeon. Yep. Various gimmicks such as lever soap and portals and perilous traps. Change the side to the mirror on the left side. The details. Field map. You can access autopilot by clicking on the location you want to move to. Use, use it across different floors. Cool. Best. Expired rations. Very cool. Thank you. Hey, what? Was that a trap or was that just Bird trying to go forward? Ow. Oh look in the top look in the top right. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, okay. Okay, battles are random. Good to know. Good to know. Stop. Out. Here I go. Cool. You? My turn. Oh, does SP restore after every battle? Let's find out. Let's end this. Ready. No, you don't. Yikes. Leave it to me. Gosh darn it. Go. Okay. Uh, how do I get to party screen? F? F. Item, skill, equipment, yep. Got my skills, new things. Oh, rabbit hole. Create a hole through which to save good HQ. Got my skills is important, yep. Information, yep. Library lets you view work orders. Work orders? And details in the tutorial. System lets you save. Cool. Well, real quick, let us save, except we can't. Very cool. Punk knife. And Jack also doesn't have equipment. Very cool. Safety scissors. Huh. 
Kara's 40 HP. Sold. 80 HP. Okay. Cool. Ow. Alice, are you all right? Yes, are you, Jack? Yeah. We'll finally be able to leave this place. Hey, wait a second. Looks like we got company. Yeah. Here they come. Aha. Uh -huh. Enemy weak points. Elements. Cool. Fire. Beats air. Beats lightning. Beats earth. Beats water. Beats fire. Fire, air, air, lightning, lightning, earth, earth, water, water, fire. Okay. Massive damage. Ah, enemy blood spires will fill your gauge for blood. Once it's filled, you can enter massacre mode. Ah, oh, shit, nice. Increase and they can access powerful skill. You can also make blood splatters by causing criticals or by defeating enemies with overkill. Ah. There you are. It's my turn. Okay, let's just down the line, oh, ABC. I'll do this. Block. Awakening. Water damage to one enemy. Massive. Oh, massacre. Yeah, massacre freeze. Ah, I thought that was gonna be like everyone dies. Okay, that's pretty good. And we're back to normal. Overkill. Here I go. Go. Overkill. It's coming. Ah. Mass massacre resist fire. Temporary. Temp o rarely reduces fire base damage. That doesn't really help. You're not getting away. Oh, it's my turn. Why you? Here I go. Yeah. There we go. Cool. I like how the portrait is the changed one because we ended it with that. Oh shit, that is a good HP buff. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Her eyes are back to normal again. <laughs> Alice. She seems happy. When her eyes turned pink after being tortured, it looked like she was in pain, but... Surprise. Wasn't it fun entering your massacre state? Massacre? You mean that fit I had earlier? Yep, that. For some reason, if a lot of marching blood gets on you, you'll enter that state. You can just pack and slash marchants like they're nothing. After the rush, you revert back. So you're telling me that I felt good after killing those marchants, and that's why I'm back to the normal? Yep, yep. Doesn't it feel good? I suppose. I've never seen Alice like this before. Oh, but... Hmm. Just because you feel good doesn't mean that your corruption's lifted, so be careful. 
corruption. What do you mean by that? It's best. <laughs> you not know right now. Now let's hurry and get on out of here before more Martians find us. Fantastic. Sorry. I know there's gonna be a thing here. I play video games. Or no, it's just it's just a random enemy. Stop! It's my turn. Why you? Here I go. Is everyone all right? Okay, I, I guess there is literally nothing here. Let's go. Wide open. First Ready. strike. Nice crit, nice crit, nice crit. Okay, okay, his vows are relatively snappy. Ah! Uh, you can lick a blood maiden when their blood splatter icon is filled. If Alice licks Red Riding Hood's blood splatters, Alice activates Riding Hood Red's Blood Soul skill. Party members can heal or may even get temporary boosts. On select, all the blood spiders on the blood lane are removed. Uh, okay. Selecting whom you want to lick will activate that Blood Maiden's Blood Soul skill. Blood Soul skills are skills. Healing other stuff. Tip the battle in your favor by saving it for massacre mode or in order to activate blood soul. Ooh. Use massacre mode to gain power or use the soul skill for restorative effects. How you use blood splatter will be key in determining victory or defeat, hope, or despair. Be careful. I'll do this. And Jack is just gonna sit here and do nothing. Well, I actually, I, I, I don't know what her thing is, so... It'd be better to just go full-on offense. Are you okay? Let's do this. Healy, healy. Ready. Ah, uh -uh, that's not no, good. You don't. Ah! That's not good. I, I Here can't. I go. Prepare yourself. Here I go. Oh! Smashy, smashy. Okay. So, uh... Skills. Okay, stats. Increases party physical damage output when Jack is KO'd. Lol. So lonely. Restore a small amount of your HP. Okay. Bulwark increased party damage output when Red Riding Hood's HP is 75% or less. Temple generates a small party of party HP. So, I want, I want Alice to use the lick command on red. Got it. Wonderful. Cool. Uh, 
Confirm character information. A save point. Hell yeah. Muddled drink. Guess yes, that's probably SP. Uh, I was just making sure that did what I thought it was gonna do. Ready? Ah. Collection point. Cheater. Surprise attack! Oh no! Oh, we're so dead. We're dead. We're, we're it's actually never been so over. Stop. Leave it to you. You're dead. Still do this. Can't even like anyone. Ah, uh, it's it's over. We're done. Guys. What the? Is this it? Party is in defeated. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Okay. I found something. Maybe I should use some uh, healing items real quick. All right. Drink is a spit. Yep. Be. Look at what I found. Flower ribbon. Okay. Ah, okay. Headgear, defense plus one, mental plus three. Dagger. So uh, we're definitely going all in on red. That's that's a fact. Lucky me. Prisoner guard. That's what I'm wearing. Why would they? Why would they give that? If I start with it, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Ready? Return to the previous floor, Oker. Watch out! I'll do this. Stop! Ah, here I go. It's like they know. It's like they know. Okay, so if I use this, oh, it'll. Okay, that's fair, fair play, fair play. Whoa. How's this? Ah, my turn. Very cool designers. Very cool. Oh. Ready. Okay. Uh. You ever think the AI is cheating? Let's do this. Like they know which one you said to guard, so they're gonna do the other one. Take this. My turn. Stop. What the? Ah! Here I go. Take this. It's my turn. Ah! Bonk. <laughs> Funny you mentioned that. No, we're not. We are quite very far. <laughs> it seems as if it won't be as easy as expected to search the cells. You found an old memo. Huh? A memo? What the? I better ask someone about it later. 
coming in contact with an item shaped like a memo will initiate a battle. Win the battle to gain a memo with tips on clearing the dungeon. You can view memos you found through the other tab. So my wonderful tip on how to get out of here is... It seems as if it won't be as easy to search the cells. Okay. Um... Jack. Something doesn't feel right. You're right. This place looks darker than usual. Wait, this isn't good. Everyone, she's just up ahead. Run with all you've got, now! Just run, do you want to die? What's going on, Red Riding Hood? It's a nightmare. It's a monster that'll keep reviving, even if it's been knocked down. Eh, <laughs> nightmare, eh. <laughs> a nightmare? I've never heard of anything like that before. There's no way to defeat it. Just hurry up and run. Uh, it's too late. Our group's been hit. We need to save them. Leave them. We have to get out of here now. Uh, murder hunt? Okay, invincible creatures, nightmare. No means aren't enough to win. Try not to engage them. Nightmares bring darkness with them, so the dungeon becomes dark. Be careful. Chase begins. They chase until everyone dies. Okay, so look, this is Jack, right? He's got a gun. He's got a gun. So he, he's gonna he's gonna help us out later, right? Right? They they wouldn't have the main character be some sort of weak punching bag, right? You escape. Run away from the nightmare. Chase ends. Things will go back to normal. If you encounter Marchants, special bow. Nightmare will attack while you're fighting, so defeat them as fast as you can. And the blood spider that occurs in battle may splatter the blood onto the dungeon too. The blood splatter will light the area, so it helps to cause blood spatters whenever possible. Okay, that's neat. Okay, now another tutorial. Cool. Okay, catches up. You have to fight it. Press space while standing next to the nightmare to enter the battle. You can knock down a nightmare by destroying its parts. While Nightmare is knocked down, you can select move to end the battle and escape from it. Uh... Now, does it move when I move, or is it constantly coming? I honestly don't want to find out. Oh, it's constantly moving. Ready. Fuck. Stop. CS Nightmare. Leave it to me. Oh my god, oh my god. Queen's hat. Queen's dress. Uh, fuck him. Fuck your legs. He did tank that like a champ. But it wasn't enough. Good show, good show. Good show, good show. Alright, I'm going to make the executive decision. System options, we're just going to go back to normal. Just to 
I have a feeling. I have a feeling that's gonna be a good idea. Call it a hunch. Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Voice. Now where is it? What was it? Turn adventure voices on or off? Main? Male off. You can just turn off the male voices. Oh man, that's hilarious. There's some good jokes there. There's some good jokes. Anyway, got stuff. Get that. Let's heal and save. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, plus three. Are they random? Every time you open it? Yo. So that means the optimal strat is you make a save file, right? You go, you open the chest, shut the fuck up, you write down what you got, compare it to your best previous one to find like the best item you, you can get. Because right now, the best one's a plus three. What if you get a plus four? What if you get a plus five? I've already cracked the code. Anyway. Compact AED? One ally KO revival plus 25% HP. Nice. Removes ebb from one ally. Nice. Be careful. I'll do this. No, you don't. Leave it to me. Uh. Do you? Uh. Are you hurt? Oh. I... He actually blocked two. Okay. Okay. He's still a giant punching bag, li literally. But. Uh. Nice. It's coming. Nice. Yep, nah, it's easy. Ah, uh, memo. Cool, thanks. Very cool. Da 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 I keep hitting like D expecting to move right when it's E for strafe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yep. You want to die? Murder hunt. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh. oh, distance. Oh, yeah, that's a difficulty thing, isn't it? That was close. Huh. Except for that, it looks like the strat is to just go in one direction as fast as possible to make it untrigger. 
Un unless it's still in the area and so I can like run back in and encounter again. Anyway. Uh, looks like we got away. Thinks it's right ahead. Uh, a thing. What was that? Are nightmares any different from Martians? A nightmare is like a boss class Martian. The only thing you can do is run from it. Uh, we lost some of the prisoners who were with us. And not even a blood maiden beat it? It's impossible. Like I said before, you can't beat it. It'll just keep reviving itself. So you freed the prisoners, knowing there was a monster like that lurking around? What? Did you want to die instead? Or is it better being locked up in a prison cell? I didn't expect it to appear. I've never seen one that close before. But... But how are you planning on escaping with that kind of monster around? Alice. No one's been able to beat one. We got lucky this time. This is all we could do to escape. I don't like it. I don't want to just run away like this either. Red Riding Hood. Alice. Ah? Uh? Alice! Not sure they want me to read that. Shoot. She entered Blood Skelter. Let's get out of here, Jack. But Alice, she looks like she's in pain. I need to help her. Not now. Alice isn't her usual self anymore. Stay here any longer, and it'll be lights out for you. What's happening to her? Alice! <laughs> She's not going to snap out of it. She'll attack everything until she dies. Even you. Campy. Alice. I was hoping she wouldn't end it like this so soon. <laughs> There's nothing we can do for her. This isn't the Alice you knew before. The only thing we can do is enter right here and now. I won't let you, Alice. Hey, Wyatt idiot. Good evening. Alice, it's me, Jack. Ah! <laughs> Alice, get a hold of yourself. Alice. Is he gonna do the hug no jitsu? Jack? Jack! I don't believe it. He's back. Oh, thank goodness, you're back. Are you okay? I... What happened to me? Jack! You're hurt. I did this to you? I... What? Why? This is nothing. She actually came out of her blood skelter state. I need to report this to Dad. Ooh. Red Riding Hood? Well, this is back to normal, right? Is she going to be okay? Y yes. Can you get up, Jack? Grab a hold of me. Th thanks. Come on, follow me, Alice. Think it's not too far from here. Okay. Exploring. Shit. Let's get this going. Stay focused. Uh No, you don't. It's my turn. Prepare yourself. <sighs> what the What? I was Jack able to tank like two hits before, but now he's only tanking the one still. So weird. So weird. Okay. We won. Maybe if I smash it. Oh, hello. Not bad. Expired rations. Some stuff's better than other stuff.
that a chest? It was not a chest. What is that? Next? Cheater! Wait! My turn! Move back! Here I go! Yeah! Here I go! Finn! We did it! Go. We won! I could write a thing to just kind of go... Well, no, actually, I don't know how to heal. I don't know how to heal HP reliably yet, so I can't really do much automation. Ooh, what's that? North, Jail Tower. West, Graveyard. East, Temple. Okay. Let's, uh, let's exit the dungeon. I'm sure we'll come back. I'm... Positive. T. Dorothy. All right, that should do the trick. Thank you very much. Is Jack going to be okay? Yes, he was bleeding, but it wasn't as bad as expected. He does have mild anemia, though. I see. He's all patched up, so the bleeding should subside shortly. I'll be back to check on him. Um, thank you very much. Uh, and about Alice? She's doing fine. Not bad for her first fight. I mean, she did fight them, right? <sighs> she sure did. Alice was a lot stronger than I thought. I think we hit the jackpot with her. I know she rescued us from prison, but the way she said that just now felt kind of rude. In any case, let me introduce them. This girl here is Alice. She's an actual blood maiden. Um, nice to meet you. The guy here is Jack. He's, um... Why didn't you leave him here with the others who escaped? Why did you bring him here? That's right. It's not like she came looking for me or anything. Oh, well, about that. Dad, I have something to report to you. Um... So you're telling me she ended her blood skelter state by attacking that boy there? It can't be. I ain't buying that. Hi, Pashman. It's... it's true. Alice won't be like that anymore. She's not gonna harm anyone. Jack. Jack, was it? No, don't worry. I can tell she's back to normal. Thank you. I was going to say, this guy's just collecting women, but uh, he's, he's got an eye patch, dude, so it's no surprise that hypothesis already disproven. I do have more questions to ask. In any case, Jack and Alice, welcome to the Dawn. The Dawn? Dawn is short for the Dawn Liberation Force. Um, and this Dawn is... Think of it as an autonomous organization formed to oppose the Marchands in the jail. All the basic functions of a city can be found here. It's also where those who escape can survive. The functions of a city? Wow. And this place is the Dawn's headquarters. It's the last fortress around for us humans. The last... fortress. Last isn't quite accurate. The Dawn exists to find a way of escaping from jail. Escaping from jail? You do know the basics of what the jail is, right? Of course I do. Not in detail, but I heard it consumed a city that used to be above ground. That it's alive. And also, that the Marchands were originally humans and animals. Hmm, one minor correction. The jail's consumption of the organic and inorganic is called mimicry. Mimicry? To be exact, the jail is able to absorb information from a subject to alter its own form. Most prominently affected are the Marchands. Like Alice said, their forms were altered by the jail. Leading them are the Nightmares, who never die. They're the major obstacle in our plan to escape. Nightmares. We are attacked by one. The dawn is, so to speak, a crystal of knowledge for us humans shut in this dark world. Our mission is to use our research to escape. Through that research, we discovered the 
Blood Maidens. The Blood Maidens are humans who possess supernatural powers, which allow them to face the Marchands. You already know this after fighting them, right, Alice? Yes, but... Do you know about the tower in the middle of the jail? Yes. We found out that this tower grows upward through some special means. If we can grow it high enough, we can escape to the surface. That's where the Blood Maidens come in. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Are they serious? Is that even possible? Alice? Yes? You are, without a doubt, a Blood Maiden. We want you to help us, and that's why we sent her in. <laughs> but I... Mind me, I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't even made introductions yet. Um, I... I'm the leader of the research team and the oldest one here. Everyone calls me Professor. Nice. The fine lady there is the leader of the rescue unit, Miko. Miko Ueshima. I'm also in charge of keeping you in good shape. Let me know if you don't feel well. I'm gonna call you Dorothy. Hope that's okay. I'm the craftsman here. Come and see me for weapons and things. I don't have a name. Wow, unfriendly as usual, aren't you, Haru? Herman. Oh, his name's Haru, by the way. Hey, don't go talking for me, you hooded idiot. Hooded idiot? You don't have to be shy just because your name sounds cute, Haru. Wait, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Great to see you finally smile, Jack. Now then, you already know me, but I'm Red Riding Hood. I'm the very first Blood Maiden, so I'm like your older sister. I hope we can get along. Um, you mentioned you're the very first, so does that mean there are others? What is a Blood Maiden? What am I? Let's just say it's something we'll never really know. Fantastic. Maybe it's the will of the gods, or... Well... That could be a possibility if there were such thing as a god. <sighs> if there were such thing as a god. Professor, I think you've taken enough of their time. I'm sure they're quite tired. Ah, you're right. I got a bit carried away. Well then, Miko, could you take it from here? My pleasure. Jack, Alice, please follow me. Uh, sure. But I... Alice, your questions can be answered in time. Why don't you rest first? Red Riding Hood, can I borrow you for a moment? What is it, Dad? Jack? Let's get our questions answered later. You're back to normal, and they all seem like nice people. Hmm. Okay, Jack. If you say so. And they're right. You must be so tired. I'm okay, Alice. Thanks. Hell, so I'll ask you one more time. Did you put your name in? I mean, did you really enter Blood Skelter? It seems as if that's the case. She doesn't need to be so blunt. Alice has suffered enough already. Um, is there something you need from Alice? Jack, I'm diagnosing Alice now. I would appreciate it if you would fuck up, stay calm, and wait your turn. Sorry. Thank you, Jack. I'm okay. I was in pain when it happened, and I couldn't control myself. When I came to, I saw Jack. He was bleeding so much from wounds I'm sure I caused. His blood was on me too, and... Jack! What did I do to you? Calm down. What you experience is what happens when someone enters Blood Skelter. It imparts unimaginable power to Blood Minions. In other words, it's a Blood Minion's weakness! Okay. Blood Maiden's weakness. And a Blood Maiden needs a large amount of marching blood on her to enter a massacre state. When the marching blood got on you, did you feel any different? Come to think of it, I started to lose my mind and a violence was growing inside of me. I felt hatred. I wanted to destroy. I wanted everything to end. Alice was keeping all those feelings inside of her this whole time. That's a sign of entering Massacre. You can see the proof in a Blood Maiden's eyes. Her eyes. I thought she was just going into a fit. 
Entering their massacre state draws out the latent power from within a Blood Maiden. But continuously being exposed to Marching Blood isn't all good. It leads to the accumulation of corruption, which triggers their Blood Skelter state. Corruption? It gauges the instability of a Blood Maiden's mental state. A shock can also raise corruption. Once corruption reaches a certain limit, she'll lose her mind and go on a rampage. This blood skelter state is when a blood maiden loses her sanity? Alice, what surprises is that you came out of blood skelter. No one's been able to do that before. I see. That's why Red Riding Hood was so surprised. But what happens when they don't recover? I want to ask, but I'm scared to know the answer. Is it safe to assume that I'm back to normal, and I won't harm anyone else anymore? I can confirm that you are back to normal. When corruption accumulates, the irises show distinct symptoms. I don't see that now. That said, I still can't believe it. We developed various medicines to control corruption, but none have ever cured it completely. Alice, do you know anything about anything that may have brought you back? I remember feeling like I wanted to destroy everything after looking in the walls in the prison. Ooh. I suppose I was close to entering this blood skelter state you're talking about. Possible that the walls had marching blood on them. And the shocking torture you experienced raised your level of corruption. I always assumed it was some sort of fit. Whenever it happened, Jack would give me a bit of his blood. Jack's blood? For some reason, I'm able to calm down after I licking his blood. That was how we survived in the prison. Hey, Miko. Pretty interesting, eh? Yes. I never heard of removing corruption by licking blood. But, assuming it is fact, there is still no explanation as to why it's effective. Uh, may I? Huh? Oh, why? Well, yes, I'm done with Alice's diagnosis. It's just a hunch, but maybe Alice came to her senses because my blood splattered on her. Is that a possibility? Interesting. If your blood could somehow affect corruption through a form of contact aside from ingestion... Jack? Would you mind if I took some blood samples from you? Oh. Go ahead, I think it worked because we've known each other for a long time. But if my blood can assist your cause, I'd be happy to help. Though I doubt my blood is anything special. Not like I can fight like Alice can. Yeah. That's why we're gonna take some samples, kiddo. Oh, that's right. Your blood may lead to an amazing discovery. After all, corruption is an issue we need to resolve. The professor was part of an early search unit back in the day, but there's a lot still unknown. I see. If that's the case, is it even really possible to escape from the jail? Hey, get up. Is there anything that's bothering you? Huh? Me? Well, nothing in particular. How about the wailing sounds coming from the jail? Wailing sounds from the jail? That's right. For some reason, I think I can hear and understand the sounds that are coming from the jail. I'm not sure how to word it. It's as if I know how it feels, sort of. Whether well, you think you can hear or not isn't important now. Huh? Don't think too hard on it. Just relax, alright? Anything else? Uh, well, the wailing from the jail is really annoying. It's like someone's whispering next to me. I see. Well then, put these on. They should help muffle whatever it is you're hearing. Head headphones. Thank you very much. What a day. Until yesterday, I wouldn't have been able to imagine what's happening now. Think of it, I have never slept in such a comfortable bed before either. Back in the village where Alice and I were raised, all we had were a bunch of leftovers. After being taken captive by the Marchins, even those leftovers felt like a luxury. Alice, run! I'll hold them off! 
Uh... Jack, Jack, wake up! I wasn't able to protect Alice. I was powerless against the Marchands, and we were captured. Alice, hope you can at least have a good night's rest. I need to go to sleep. Being like this reminds me of when I was all alone. I was all alone then, too. When I opened my eyes, there was a dead march in front of me. I think it had killed my parents. Oh. With all that's happened, I've already forgotten what my parents' faces looked like. I couldn't protect anyone. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Jack. Alice. What's the matter? Um, do your wounds still hurt? You were worried about it? I'm fine, see? They patched me up and... That's not it. I just want to apologize to you. If I had just been able to hold myself back, this wouldn't have happened to you. Help. But you didn't kill me or anything, right? So, let's say it just happened and move on, okay? Okay. Oh, and Alice? If you weren't with me, I don't think I would be alive right now. You've always supported me. If anything, I'm the reason we were captured. Stop, Jack. You protected me back then. You protected me when I was all alone. That's why I can trust you. And that's why I believe in you. That's why I was able to survive. Alice! I've decided to fight with Red Riding Hood and everyone to escape from the jail with you. Alice. That means you might have to go through even more suffering. You could die out there. Why don't we just live here together like before? I'll be fine. I'm ready for this. I was scared at first, but I'm not scared anymore. So please, will you support me? I can't protect anyone. Can't help Alice either. Don't overdo it. Can you promise me that you'll stay alive? It's a promise, Jack. That said, you're worrying too much. I was pretty strong back there, wasn't I? Yeah, you're right. You are and always were strong. I can confirm that. I'm weak. I don't have any powers and I can't do anything but... I'll support you, so please, do your best, Alice. Thank you. Chapter one. Hey, it looks like everyone's gathered. The bluebird of happiness? Everyone together. Everyone's hungry. I see. They're hungry. Poor things. That's right. Guess we've got to feed them. Yes. We need to feed them. This is... Oh, he's waking up and now it's just off to the side. Okay, cool. That's right, I was given a room here at the dawn. I'm not in a cell anymore. But, unlike Alice, I can't be of any use to them here. I mustn't run away. Now that I'm fully rested, they may come and ask me to leave. Come to think of it, I'm still in these racks. I hope that was okay. The blanket! Is it dirty? I hope they're okay with it. Morning, Jack! Uh, good morning, Red Riding Hood. Uh, so what's up with you flapping that blanket all over the place? Did you wet the bed? Um, well... Whatever. Now then, here, your clothes. Clothes? For me? Huh? You want to stay in those rags? Uh, well, well, I mean, though, it's not like I can be of use here. You know, I have no clue what's going on in that little mine of yours, but... I gave your clothes, gave you your clothes, so hurry up and put them on. Once you're ready, come down and see my dad. Thoughts? 
normal, clean, close. Jack? Did Red Riding Hood? Ah. I'm sorry. Were you about to change? Good morning, Alice. I'm fine. I'm done changing. Wow, you got new clothes too. You look great. You think so? You're looking good too, Jack. Really? What's the matter? Uh, I can understand them treating you well, Alice, but why me? Why'd I have to say that? Only upset her. About that. I was wondering had they had our clothes and rooms ready so quickly. It's as if they knew we were going to come! They knew ahead of time, then. I think. I mean, they knew my name prior. I wonder. One other thing. Just remember that you're not useless or anything, Jack. I need you, just like everyone here needs you. Alice? I'll always be there to protect you. Saying this might worry you, but I feel like they're hiding something. Something that we shouldn't just believe in blindly. Thank you, Alice. I'm sorry for bothering you like this. I'll be careful next time. Jack. I think we're in the same boat as they are, trying to escape. Let's just go along with them for now. Yes. Well, it looks like they want us at the professor's laboratory. Let's go. And then I says to Mabel, I says... Uh, thank you for yesterday. Hey, this one's a bop. Ah, it's you. Hey, you're both late. Sorry. No apology necessary. Now then. Yes? Do you mind if we take some blood samples from you, Jack? We want to see how it affects Blood Skelter. Huh? What's the matter? Um, well, they took my blood samples yesterday at the rescue center to experiment with. Oh, is that so? Huh? <laughs> You're right. With all that happened, I completely forgot about it. They're vampires. They're totally vampires. Dad, you forget things too easily. Ha ha ha. Come now, that's not true. I suppose I'll speak with Miko of her results later then. Y yes, please do. Like Alice said, something's wrong here. How can something like that not get relayed properly? Um, is there anything you expect from analyzing Jack's blood? I believe Miko explained it already, but the blood maidens cure corruption. Accrue corruption. Which triggers their blood skelter state, and we've had no real means to counteract it. We lost someone from it, too. Lost? Maybe another time. Sorry. That's right. Red Riding Hood was trying to avoid the specifics of Blood Skelter before. No, it's best we talk about it now. We lost a Blood Maiden to Blood Skelter a while ago. We weren't able to save her. To be exact, we had no means of saving her. She remained in that state until the end of her life. All that we gained from it was the discovery of Blood Skelter and the risk involved. So then, the same thing could happen to Alice, too. Because of what happened, we haven't obtained much in the way of results from our investigation. After all, there's no way I could risk our beloved children's lives like that. Dad! That's why we need you, Jack. Your blood could potentially push the dawn to a new level. Is that true? Why, well, yes. We would like to ask for your cooperation with our research. That wouldn't put Jack's life in danger, right? Of course it wouldn't. He is our lifeline. We will treat him with great care. Come on, it'll be okay, Alice. Dad and Mika are both skilled at what they do. She's right, Alice. I'm happy to know that I can actually help you and everyone here in some way. That aside, do you know where you got your name, Jack? What? Where I got it? Yes. Did you 
Did your parents give you that name? I don't know. I lost my parents when I was young, and I don't really remember fr much from them. I see. Interesting. Well, thank you for coming today. Red Riding Hood, show them around the Liberated District, will you? Sure thing, Dad. Oh, and before you leave, this place is my... Sorry, wrong character. Before you leave, this place is my laboratory. I'll be here if you need to ask more about the Blood Maidens or if you have any concerns. Yep, Dad knows and cares about us more than anybody else here. If something's bothering you, come down anytime. I'm rarely anywhere else. Thank you. Now then, no need for me to get you to keep you folks any longer. I'll see you again. All right, follow me. And I guess now's about a good time to ask. Um, Red Riding Hood? About the room and these clothes. What? What about them? Well, I'm not a blood maiden, so I feel bad that I'm being treated the same way. But a little bit... Ah, is that what's bothering you? Didn't you hear what Dad said? Huh? You're one of us now. You and else. You don't have to worry about stuff like that. It's just that I was surprised that everything was all ready, as if you all knew we were coming. The team probably got everything ready when they heard I brought you two. Don't you worry one bit. Ah, uh, well, thank you. Thank you. It doesn't look like Red Riding Hood is hiding anything. Dad's a research nut, so he rarely steps out of the laboratory. He's a lot more straight-laced now, but he was supposedly quite the character back in the day. That sounds interesting. If that's the case, we shouldn't bother him much. Hmm. I think he's back to doing work or something by now. I see. Well, we did just speak with him, so it's probably best to leave him alone for now. I'd be happy if you did that, at least for now. Now then. There are a lot of facilities in the Liberated District. You saw Miko's, but there are still more. Now then, let me show you the way. So I got the HQ, General Store, and that's literally it. Oh. Events. Can I save? Yes, I can. Um, well, we still got 90 minutes. A little bit, uh, well, a little bit more. Or, no, less, less than 90. I'll probably just do all these events and call that. And dungeon crawl next time, mayhaps. Uh, how do I get back? F R Backspace, of course, of course, of course it's backspace. Hey there, Haru. Sup? You showing them around? Yep. Something like that. Well, as you can see, we fidget with weapons and things here. If you want to strengthen or maintain your weapons, come see me. It'll help in the long run. I think this is the same voice actor as that guy in Danganronpa with the crazy hair, the fortune teller. But I hate that character, and I like this one, so... Funny, funny times, fun times. Understood. I guess it doesn't concern me much. Hey, kiddo. What's with that look on your face? Take things a bit more seriously, will ya? Yes, sir. Wait a sec. Ugh. Me? You need to man the store. This isn't your den, you know. Um, yeah. And she is. Her? Her name's Clara, and she's supposedly my assistant or something. Fantastic. Like what you mean supposedly? I'm officially your assistant, boss. And she's also supposed to be manning the store. Come on, sis. That's harsh. I'm manning the store just fine. Why don't you man the store by actually being there, then? Whatever. Having to work two jobs is a major chore. Well, we'll be going now. Yeah, watch yourself. 
Come to my store or see my boss here if you need anything, you hear? Okay. Thank you, Miss Clara. Come on, cut the formality. You can just call me Clara. Thanks. We'll see you again, Clara. Yeah, you can strengthen gear at the factory by using blood crystals from the back. Your gear can be strengthened nine times. Well, I mean... So, what are you all doing here? Check out the other locations, you hear? Oh, fine. Rude. Oh, what brings you all here? Well, I was showing the two of them around headquarters. I see. How nice of you to do that. Both of you were here yesterday, right? Uh, yes. Did I ask her about her test results of my blood? Uh, do you mind if I ask about my... Jack! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I should be a bit more observant and see how everyone works here before looking too curious. You were saying... Um, well, thank you for yesterday. I feel a lot better now. That's good to hear. After all, it is Miko's expertise. I suppose so. If you don't feel well or you're concerned about anything, feel free to stop by. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see, you can get all your basic needs here, even things to help with battle. Of course, it would help if someone was here to confirm what I said. I don't see anyone here. Clara, you around? Uh, of course she's not here. She was with Haru just earlier. Oh, so it was that girl from before. Um, so Clara manages the store? Yep, she's a lot more reliable than she looks. And she's somehow, somehow able to procure supplies as well. Wow, that's really something coming from a kid like her. Stop in to see her every so often, would you? Yes, we will. Okay. While I'm at it, let me explain a bit. This city here is called the Liberated District. Liberated District? Yep. We regained control of it from the Marchands so that people could live the way they should. This place is for those who escape the prison cells so they can live a normal life again. We Blood Maidens in the Dawn protect the district in hopes of escaping the jail one day. A place where people could live the way they should. That's nice to hear. Right? You're both free to roam this district however you like. Thank you. Even if this place is protected, this is still the jail. I can see the tower pretty well from here. I'm going to climb that tower and... Jack? Huh? What's the matter? You were just gazing at the tower. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about how clear it can be seen from here. Tower. It really is eerie. It's almost as if it's looking down at us. Huh, weird. Okay, we're gonna use it to get everybody out of here. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Why is it that I keep having this urge to climb? Oh, and take a look over there. That's the entrance to the Liberated District. Of course, I couldn't explain that when we first got here. We came here through that entrance. Darling, are you getting ready to deploy? Excuse me? Nope, I'm just giving a quick tour to these two. Oh yeah, and quit calling me darling. Thank Stop you. Stop giving weird nicknames to everyone, Toa. <laughs> Same to you. I'd appreciate it if you would call me by my last name. Toa is Toa. Why do you have to be ashamed of being called by your first name? You two sound like brother and sister. He's not my brother. She's not my sister. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing. The name's Katawaki. I'm the gatekeeper here. Mr. Katawaki? Come on, you have to say his whole name. He's embarrassed for having a cute-sounding first name. Stop it already. 
<laughs> You're getting all red. They really seem to get along well together. Um, and you are? My name is Jack. Nice to meet you. Oh, so you're the one. And to think, I saw you unconscious and carried in here that day. <sighs> Mr. Katawaki, Jack saved me, which is why he was unconscious when he was brought in. <laughs> Sorry if I sounded rude. I know you did your best, kid. And who is this bold young lady here? My name is Alice. And I'm not the bold one. Jack is. <laughs> Looks like you've got a feisty one joining the ranks, darling. Yep, and pretty reliable, too. He may be a bit weird, but he's definitely a nice guy, so I hope you two can get along with him. He's the gatekeeper and makes sure the place is safe, sort of. Come, you didn't need to add sort of there. In any case, glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, yes. Same here. Thank you. Uh huh. This is where our rooms are, so I don't need to give you a tour here, right? Like, sorry, like that. Alice's room, and this is Jack's room, and the one over there is mine. Understood. There are a lot of rooms. Are there others living here? Yep. Each girl has her own room. They're all out on their missions. Save what? Missions? Isn't that dangerous? Hmm. They can handle themselves, and Dad puts thought into the assignments, so they'll be fine. Dad? Is she referring to the professor? But why Dad? I wonder. You keep referring to the professor as dad. Is he really dad? Your dad? That's kind of neat. Uh, well, not really. Dad adopted me when I was a baby, so that's why I call him dad. It's embarrassing. Now that I think about it, I sound like a kid in front of him, don't I? <laughs> Red Riding Hood. He yeah, likes the professor. No, not really. Right, in fact, I'm a bitch else. Really? Well, the professor is like everyone's dad, you know? That's why we can fight without any worries. Don't forget, I'm your older sister here, too. Oh, wait. There is one person I need to worry about. Huh? Now then, let's go in and say hi to the girl here. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? You can give surprise items to any of the blood maidens in their rooms. Some items change. Uh -huh, okay. There are two types: gifts and tier items. Can you know, answer what they like. Infection can trigger various events and can affect the ending as well. Interior items change the room decor. Cool. She's a bit weird, but she's a nice girl. Okay. Huh? Uh, okay. Kaguya, you mind if I bother you? Ayo? I'm tired, so leave me alone. Oh, come on, just show your face. We have some newcomers joining our ranks. Can we save it for later? I need some time to prepare when meeting new faces. Is she shy? Come on, there's nothing to worry about. It's not like they're scary or anything. We have enough new people here. I'm busy too. Or maybe she just just doesn't want us here. Just come out already. I know you're slacking off in there. <laughs> she kicked the door open. <sighs> Yo, morning, Kaguya. You're really quite a bother, Red Riding Hood. He didn't flinch from that? So, Kaguya, meet our two new recruits, Jack and Alice. New recruits, you say? Nice to meet you. Same here. Her name's Kaguya. She's a good kid and has the looks, but she's wasting it all on being a hermit. 
<laughs> Come now. I'm too tired to be bothered. Anyway, you mentioned they joined our ranks, but is this Jack here also a blood maiden? Huh? Of course not. He's like a uh, uh, uh. palace. Oh shit! <sighs> Get dunked on. First of all, Jack's Sorry. a guy. There's no way he can be a blood maiden. Oh, you're right. I've never heard of a blood youth before. Right? I guess I really don't have much use here. Shut the fuck up. Oh, but Jack here may just be the one. The one what? Mm, that'll be something to know later after we get more information. Well then, I'm not interested until it's clear. I mean, I'm not interested in anything. Hold on there! We've got new members! Now's the time for you to finally do some work! Hmm... No. Uh. I'm tired. I don't want to work. Ugh, there she goes again with that I'm tired bit. You know how much easier it is when you help? You've got the longest ranged attack, and you really huh. help our defenses. I'm going to tune out now. Uh, um, Kaguya. Jack? Why aren't you helping when you have the power to help others? Hmm. I don't want to work until the five treasures come together. Five? That again. You really are a greedy princess, you know that? <laughs> now then, I'm tired. So if you'll excuse me. Oh, and my name is Princess Kaguya. Don't call me Kaguya so casually. I... I'm sorry. Oh, that Kaguya. D does she hate me? Oh, don't let her bother you. She's always like that. She's just shy is all. Hmm. I really wish she fought with us. She'd be a lot of help in battle. Hmm, that should cover all the major locations. Check them out when you got the time. Thank you, Red Riding Hood. I'm surprised this place really does cover all our basic needs. Well, Dad and everyone in Dawn, even Haru, helped to build this place. We can live a decent life because of what they all did. That's why we need to do our best, too. You're right. I'll try to do what I can to help. Yes, same here. Okay, let's head on back. Be serving meals according to this schedule. Hmm. Understood. I'm counting on you, Hitsuka. How much supplies and manpower will you be needed? <laughs> Plenty. Uh? Lady Ohime. Okay. Oh? Uh? I'm sorry about that. Now then, we're expecting a turnout of about. Hitsuka? Ohime? Uh, Red Riding Hood? Who are they? Dad! Miko! Having a meeting? Ah, Red Riding Hood. Did you finish showing them around already? Yep. I see. That's my girl. Now then, Miko, I'll uh. leave the rest to you. So, Miko, what's the meeting about? Do you remember the people you saved earlier? We're preparing meals for them. Thanks as always, son folks. Sun folk. We are all brothers and sisters under the sun. All is in the name of Our Lady Ohime. <laughs> Same as always. Nice to see you, Michiru. Chi? Ha <laughs> ha, they're so weird. Ha <laughs> delightful. Said a number of times. Do not call Our Lady Ohime by her name in vain. Oh, we have new little birdies here. One, two, two of them. Hello there. <laughs> Oh, um, hello. Hello. Uh, and they are... They're the representatives of the Order of the Sun. The Order of the Sun? Yes. The Order is led by the Ohime, Lady Michiru, and Hitsuka acts as her advisor. These two here just joined the Dawn, Jack and Alice. Nice to meet you. Huh. 
same here. <laughs> if you seek salvation by the sun, come and listen to the words of Lady Ohime. Hmm. Now then, if you'll excuse us, let us depart, Lady Michiru. <laughs> Jack's a little birdie. Do you like high places? Huh? What does she mean by that? Does she know I really want to climb the tower? No, she wouldn't know. We've only just met. Um, Miko? Are Ohime and Hitsuka their names? They are titles within their order. They preach that salvation will be delivered by the sun. Ah, so Hitsuka isn't his real name. Silly you, of course it's <laughs> not. Everyone calls him that because no one knows his real name. But you called him Chi or something. Oh, I just call him that because I hear Michiru calling him that too. He wasn't like that before, you know. As for Michiru, she's always been like that. But isn't she the leader? She didn't look like she could lead people. She's probably acting as his puppet. I mean, it's not like she has the brains to think properly. Oof. There's something mysterious about that Michiru person that almost mesmerized me. Like she casts a spell or a... Sorry. Even though Michiru's like that, she's still pretty popular. Which is why she's perfect as a puppet. They believe that the Ohime is the incarnation of the sun. Silly, considering no one's seen it. Miko? Do you have something against them? They're shady. And in all honesty, I don't like how they try to leech off of others. That said, they do augment what we in the Dawn lack. Their order is located in the middle of the Liberated District, so you can always take a look. The Order of the Sun. Oh, you found this out there. Yep, didn't have much written on it, but I figured you should know, Dad. Yes, well, thank you. <laughs> Red Running Hood sure acts like a kid in front of the professor. I didn't expect something like this to be found in this area. I wonder who wrote this memo. Well, it is written nicely. I'm a bit jealous. My penmanship is pretty horrible. From the looks of it. It seems like the person who wrote it was very studious. This is merely a guess, but... You remember how I told you about the Dawn sending units out to the areas, right? Yes, and that became the basis of the missions we're undertaking now. Exactly. This world is constantly changing, and there's no telling when our lives may be at a risk. That said, I believe one of them must have written this to relate to future members searching the area. I see. So I guess it must be an important memo with a lot of their memories contained in it. Yes, so we'll have to take good care of it. Yes, let's hold on to it carefully. Good talk. Well, we said hi to Dad, so we're about done. You have a better idea of the dawn now, right? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Red Riding Hood. Well then, I'll... Just a minute! Do you mind if I ask you something? What? You have a mission for me? Not a mission. Do you know where I can find magnolia leaves? Magnolia? Yes. The leaves look like this drawing. Similar shape. Cute. Well, we just call them magnolia leaves because they look similar to the ones in the outside world. This looks like Dad's. Yikes, his penmanship is sloppy as usual. We were having a meeting about supplies, and the professor was the most artistic one there. <laughs> ah ha ha ha! That's a surprise for sure. So then, what's with this leaf? It has blood clotting properties. We're running out of medicine, and we're going to need some soon. I remember now. I picked up those leaves on past missions. Yes, I asked Haru, but he said he doesn't remember where they came from. So, I thought you'd know. Hmm, I'm sure I saw them somewhere, but... 
Jack, isn't this leaf? Ah, you're right. Do you know where to get them? Maybe I recall we used large leaves in place of bandages back when we were imprisoned. I think it was shaped like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. That would explain why it stopped the bleeding so quickly. I suppose we used the right tools without even knowing. Well then, this should be simple. We're going back there, aren't we? Bingo! Right, Miko? Well, it would help a lot, but... You were speaking with Dad about it, so it's safe to assume he knows, right? Oh, I suppose so. Why do you ask? Well, because Dad didn't know about Jack's blood samples. I figured I'd ask, just in case. That was bothering Red Riding Hood too, huh? About that, we got it all cleared up. What happened? That professor knows that we wanted his blood samples, right? Drawing a person's blood sample is common practice when people come to see me for a checkup. We told the professor that we'd turn in a report with Jack's results, and he forgot about that. Ah, huh, is that it? Well, not kidding. That has been forgetful, so I can see that happening. Odd. Why, why even write that in? Yes, and that's why we have these misunderstandings every so often. It's very odd. In any case, that's a relief. I thought you were doing something behind Dad's back. <laughs> Me? <laughs> why would I do that? You can make the discovery of the century and use it to become Dad's favorite or something. <laughs> Sorry, I questioned you. <laughs> you know that's a dumb thought. After all, you are his favorite in many ways. I don't like I don't like the way you said that. I don't like that. Good to hear. Okay, so Jack, Alice. What? We're going Magnolia Leap hunting. We? As in me and Alice? Yep. Alice can get used to fighting and having you around would help her keep her cool. Two. Well, I guess I don't mind going, but... As long as you can promise me that Jack won't be put into harm's way, then I'm okay with it. Alice. I'm only going to get in their way. Come on, Alice. Don't say that. Jack's our comrade, you know? That's reassuring to hear. Once you're ready, let's meet up here, okay? Wait a minute. You can't do this without proper... You said Dad knows about this already, right? It'll be okay. We've been there before, so it'll be a cinch. I'll let Dad know just in case, too. I see. Well, be careful, all right? Ah, oh, you got everyone's... Oh, wow. Okay, so let's do some guessing. Guesswork real quick. Uh, Alice has chess. Okay, that makes sense. Jack is boring. Oh, is that kind of the beanstalk in the back? Well, no, that's a window. Red Riding Hood has... Red and weights. Oh, and the bear. Cute. Let's see, which one's Kaguya? Let's, let's, let's think. This one looks like a princess here. Ah, uh, these are witches. Goldilocks? This is Sleeping Beauty. I'll bet my am on that. This is Snow White, because that's an apple. Oh, maybe one of them's Cinderella. Maybe that's Cinderella in the top right? This might be Kaguya with the bamboo. If that's bamboo. Only time will tell. But the time will be the, ne the next time. Because I... I'm going to choose to depart now, before I go into dungeon crawling time. Give that a quick old save. Nice. And let's find someone to raid. Who's it gonna be? Da -da 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 uh, let's see. I wish the music was playing. Playing. Oop, I can't. Oh man, I wish I, 
I think there's a site that'll like let you know who's a good raid or like who you haven't raided in a while. I saw a thing. Although that that was a bit too far where they're like trying to be like, yeah, this person hasn't raided you. Fuck them. Like that then that's a little too far. But in terms of just choosing someone to raid. Uh, I'll just roll a dice real quick. Okay, cool. We're gonna go over here. Oh, he's actually been, he's almost probably done. Shit. Okay, uh. Okay, yeah. Good, good. Let's go there. Yeah. Hey, it's coming out. I'll be back Thursday with Helldivers if the servers are actually up. Be sure to check out Twitter in like two hours because we got, we got a thing. I got a thing. But if you're watching the VOD, never fucking mind. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about though. <laughs>